Tides and currents surge around the island of Hellasay, bringing nutrients close to the surface. In the summer, with rising temperatures and longer days, the conditions combine to trigger an explosion of life in the seas of Scotland's west coast. This dense, rich soup of microscopic plants and animals is plankton. It consists of billions of tiny individual organisms, such as algae and small crustaceans, that spend their whole lives drifting in the water column. In addition, it also includes the egg and larval stages of better known species such as mussels, sea urchins and most types of fish. Plankton is the unlikely building block upon which nearly all life in the ocean is based. Although many of these organisms are too small to be seen by the naked eye, plankton provides enough food for some of the largest of creatures in our seas. This basking shark feeds preferentially on copepods, the tiny crustaceans that make up much of the zooplankton. Swimming with her mouth wide open, bristles within each gill filter thousands of small shrimp-like creatures from the water. From May to October, when plankton is particularly abundant, the sharks come to the Hebrides in large numbers to feed and breed. The basking shark is the biggest fish in the North Atlantic, growing up to 11 metres long and weighing more than twice that of a full-grown elephant. Until recently, many believed that basking sharks hibernate in the winter. However, satellite tagging has shown that they may travel great distances and dive to great depths in a never-ending search for the best concentrations of their planktonic prey. <laughs> 